Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. My question is that one of my friend argued with me that Hindu scriptures do not mention about eating beef. I want to know from you that does Hindu scriptures mention about eating beef? Kindly answer my question. The question posed by Brother Rizwan is that does the Hindu script, do the Hindu scriptures mention about the permissibility of eating beef? Many people have a misconception that the Hindu scriptures do not allow eating of non-veg food or do not allow the eating of meat or beef etc. There are various verses from the Hindu scriptures which speak about eating non-veg. If you read Manusmriti, chapter number 5, verse number 30, it says that if the eater eats the flesh of those which are allowed to be eaten, he is not doing a sin. Because Almighty God created some to be eaten and some to be eaters. It's mentioned in Manusmriti, chapter number 5, verse number 31 that God created sacrificial animals. So, killing in sacrifice is not killing. It further mentioned in Manusmriti chapter number 5, verse number 39 and 40, that sacrifice is the rule of the God. So, killing, so eating, animals for sacrifice is permitted. It's further mentioned in Mahabharat, in Anushasan Parv, in Anushasan Parv, chapter number 88, Yudhishthir, who was the eldest brother of the Pandavas, he asks Bhishma that what things should we give in Yajna, in Puja, so that our ancestors will be satisfied. So Bhishma replies that in the Yagna, in the Puja, if you give rice, barley, roots, fruit, then our ancestors will be satisfied for one month. If you give fish, our ancestors will be satisfied for two months. If you give mutton, our ancestors will be satisfied for three months. If you give hair, our ancestors will be satisfied for four months. If you give the meat of goat, our ancestors will be satisfied for five months. If you give bacon, they'll be satisfied for six months. If you give the flesh of birds, they'll be satisfied for seven months. If you give the flesh of deer, they'll be satisfied for eight months. If you give a buffalo, they'll be satisfied for 11 months. And if you give beef, they will be satisfied for one full year. So Bhishma tells Yudhishthir, the eldest brother of the Pandavas, that if you give beef, our ancestors will be satisfied for one full year, for 12 months. And he continues that if you give a big bull, our ancestors will be satisfied for 12 years. And if you give the meat of rhinoceros or red meat of goat, they will be satisfied inexhaustibly. There is a big menu given in Mahabharata what you can have. Besides vegetables, you can have fish, you can have meat, you can have hair, you can have birds, you can have, you can have deer, you can have buffalo, you can have beef, you can have bull, you can have rhinoceros. The big menu is there. So if you read, it's clearly mentioned that you can have non-veg including beef. Further, if you read Ramayan in Ayodhya Khand, one number two, chapter number 20, verse number 29, when Ram was sent for Banwas, exile for 14 years, his mother Kaushalya asked him, that why do you take some food? So he said, now I'm going for Banwas, for exile, for 14 years in the forest. I'm going to give up all my meat dishes. If Ram 
Shri Ram has to give up his meat dishes. That means he was having it. So from Mahabharata and from Ramayana and from Manusmriti, you come to know that eating non-veg is permitted. You are even permitted to eat beef. And if you give beef in Yagna, in Puja, your ancestors will be satisfied for one full year. Hope that answers the question.